Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning, we want to talk about a story of a reputed Don from the Central Kingston area. He eventually lost his life in New York. But according to Nationwide News, and I'm reading from the Nationwide News um, website, you can go over there and read the story yourself. It says that one of the reputed leaders of the Dark Side Gang has died while being treated at hospital. His name, Donald Nash, 32 years old, otherwise called Liquor Danny of Cloverley Road in Central Kingston, was shot and injured during a party at 101 Wharton Avenue in East New York on Sunday. Nash is the third person who was shot at the event to die. Two 36-year-old men were shot and killed minutes after Nash was shot. It is understood that all three murders are linked to the ongoing gang feud in central Kingston. Responding to reports, Councillor for the Raytown Division, Rosalie Hamilton, says his killing is a continuation of the hostilities sparked on election day last year. This as the gang feud between the dark side and the genocide gang from Central Kingston played out on the streets of Brooklyn in New York. It is understood that Nash became brain dead just shy of 48 hours after he was shot in the neck and chest. Following the shooting on Sunday, Nash was reportedly in surgery for more than 12 hours as doctors stabilized him. However, he never regained consciousness. Responding to questions from Nationwide, the New York Police Division said they had no suspects and no arrests have been made. Nationwide News understands that section of Central Kingston has become tense since Nash shooting with residents fearing reprisal will be played out in the streets of Parade Gardens. Now, face the reality. This shooting, these gangsters consistently move their shootings or their incidents of crime from one place to the other. Now it has spilled over into the streets of New York, Brooklyn to be precise. And we have got to understand that a lot of houses in the Central Kingston area are on the radar of these gangsters to be burned down. We can all recall that even the councillor Rosalie Hamilton said that her name was on a bullet. She has not disclosed where the threat might be coming from. Now, with all of this senseless killing and fighting, it has gone overseas. And I think maybe at some point, because... The technology in America is far different from Jamaica. So very soon, maybe, you'll hear that the police has a few persons in custody following the, that incident. Now, Little Danny, as he's called, they say was a part of the, the Dark Side Gang. And he was actually head of the Dark Side Gang. Now... Face it, these gangsters have lived a life of criminality. But yet still, they go about partying and enjoying themselves. Prime place for their enemies to come and get them. And this is exactly what happened in New York. These persons expect to go around creating havoc and mayhem in certain type of communities and expect to go about living their life normal as nothing happened. How many persons have these persons hurt in life? And how many of these persons have family members who are hurting over the loss of a loved one or what you have done to their loved one? Sometimes it's not who you know, it's who knows you. And no doubt, whoever knows Danny and that he is a party animal 
and he, he was at a party in Brooklyn, decided that that was the ideal time to go and strike. So at this party, three persons eventually died. Now, we can all hope that the police will be proactive because we all hear that down there is tense since the incident started and persons are begging for this to stop but it seems as if it's a never-ending war in central Kingston and with this incident now that little Danny has lost his life we expect things to get really really cross in this area but as again the police should be on the front foot looking out for whatever funny or suspicious movements in this area but you know the law-abiding citizens in this area will be worried because we all know what the damage a stray bullet can do well if you live by the gun you die by the gun if you live a life of criminality then this is expected let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time stay safe look out for the children look out for a neighbor look out for a loved one and most of all keep it locked on my opinion tv